Getting married does not solve all your sexual temptation or just your temptation in general. Like there's still people around you and with you and in relationship with you that you may be tempted by. There's still the internet, obviously, like there's no cut and dry way to avoid temptation, even if you are married with the person you love deeply and are attracted to. Like that's just a fact. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it's not gonna be a comfy one, but I think that's probably why we're all here. It's because this is a really uncomfortable topic. I genuinely felt like it was on my heart to share this today. We are all here learning and we're not perfect. So anything like that I have to share is not me trying to be the perfect example. <laughs> it is me trying to just share my experience in hopes that you can gain something from it, even if it's just feeling like you're not alone in the pit. I wanna start by saying it's okay if this is not your story. My story is not everyone's story, and I think my views on like pornography are very, very different than a lot of people's. I also like have really grown and changed throughout this experience so that the way that I would have voiced this video like two years ago would have been completely different than the way that I would voice it now. And I just feel like there is such a importance to for me to emphasize like, if this is not your story, that is okay. This is still something that we can both benefit from. Like you hearing this and me sharing this, wherever you are watching this now, likely I've been on your page. Pornography did and still does like, disgust me and make me feel sick in my stomach even if i just talk about it kind of matter of factly like there are some emotions tied to it and i want you to feel like you can relate to that something that really needs to be discussed with pornography is men sometimes just feel like they really really do not want to talk about it like it's an embarrassing thing for men let me just put it this way no nothing is a secret everything will come out what genuinely brought healing to our relationship was just candid openness and honesty. It was very healthy for us because we came from a place where I didn't realize Ethan was really uncomfortable talking about this with me. And it may have been because I was a bit intense, <laughs> but it was like genuinely like healing our relationship to be so open and to pray together and I especially would just pray by myself that any secrets in our marriage would come out. People do not talk about it, but there's a lot of temptation in marriage and you need to know that going into marriage. Like getting married does not solve all your sexual temptation or just your temptation in general. Like there's still people around you and with you and in relationship with you that you may be tempted by. There's still the internet, obviously. Like there's no cut and dry way to avoid temptation, even if you are married with the person you love deeply and are attracted to. Like, that's just a fact. <laughs> this is super TMI, but um, <laughs> we definitely experienced a lot of healing by having sex and talking openly with each other. We, are, we, we believe that all forms of pornography are wrong, but like some are definitely more like damaging than others because you, I mean, you gotta think about it. like. <laughs> If you're watching a scene in a movie where a woman pulls her boobs out, like, she's getting paid probably 50 grand to do that. And so that, I'm like, yeah, we shouldn't do that, guys. But, you know, she's sitting in her mansion somewhere and doesn't even think about it, probably. When you're looking at, like, Pornhub videos, these women are probably, like, against their will in these videos. Because if you think about it, like, what woman in her right minds would be having illicit sex with tons of men for money like that's just against nature and it's proven that Pornhub has a ton of videos of like rape and like child molestation and they don't want to take it down because it's profitable for them I think that's what upsets me the most about pornography is that it's taking advantage of women and men like men do not understand like just because someone looks really like they're enjoying it in these videos like they're either like drugged up beyond like sense or they're like against their will or like just really mentally in a bad place and we're taking advantage of these women by consuming porn like you go and watch a movie in the theater like i don't know i think i saw something somewhere where this girl got paid five hundred 
thousand dollars to show her boobs in a movie and I don't remember who it was or what movie it was but like it's a completely different scene like there's different forms of like sin with pornography and I'm super grossed out by Pornhub and all of those related videos because there's definitely women being like raped on there and how would you know like there could be someone with a gun in the next room and you're like, oh, this woman looks like she she's really enjoying this sex act. Like, mm -mm, no, probably not. This is my advice to you. Like, talk to your husband or your spouse, your boyfriend. I don't care who it is, someone you're dating. If you're going to date them, like maybe it might be a little too early. We've genuinely experienced healing from being open and honest with each other and just like trying to go through life like as one. That's my advice. Just like talk about it as much as you can. Like once a week is not crazy. If you want to talk to your spouse once a week, if you know they've had this struggle in the past, which most men have apparently, <laughs> you really should do that because even if they say they're not struggling with it, they may be and it's so important for a couple to be completely honest with each other in order to have a really good relationship. I like, I made a video like two years ago about um, masturbation and that one kind of blew up. Um, and so if you want to view my thoughts, please do. <sighs> I'm very long winded and I'm kind of late for work. So that's all I'm going to talk about today. I really hope this is beneficial for you. And if so, please like comment, like, subscribe, do all the things to help me because I really want to be able to help more people. I really pray that you're able to like just learn and educate yourselves and so that if you struggle with this or if you come across a time in your life where this becomes an issue you will be equipped <laughs> you will be ready to take on that's all i have for you guys today i hope you have a really great day bye